Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And the title of this lesson will be Cry Now, excuse me, Laugh Now, Cry Later, Laugh Now, Die Later. All right, now, this lesson is in spirit. I was meditating on how Jake take everything as a joke. You know, our people, you know, laugh, they scorn, they take the light in their scorning at the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, they laugh at us as prophets, men of the Lord, teachers, you know, who go out and teach this word faithfully. And they think that, you know, they're in a good case because they don't believe. But because of your unbelief, you're going to perish. All right. We're not living in normal times as what we used to. We used to know. We're headed into some perilous times, which is evil times, bad times, troubled times. All right. And the word of the Lord should be taken very seriously. All right. So this is why I read in the beginning this scripture here, Luke 6 and 25. Woe unto you that are full. All right. You could be full. You know, with, with your, you know, your pleasures in life. You know, you got Jake on a low level. They're full with just having weed, a weed blunt, you know, in their mouth every day. And having a, a, a little ghetto chick to hump on every hour. You know, and they're full. All right? They don't want nothing more than that. All right? You got a lot of uh, Jakes who, who may chase money for a living. And they're full with that. They're full with the finest things like cars, clothes, and hoes, you know, showing out, collecting fame. But it says, woe unto you that are full, all right? Because if you're full, that means that you don't need to eat, right? All right? You, you, if you're not sick, you don't need a healer. Yahweh Shai said, uh, John 10 and 10, that uh, he said, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I've come to give life more abundantly, all right? So it says, uh, woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. So you can go ahead and live it up and have fun and laugh and take delight in your scorning and make mockery all you want. You know, get your best laughs out now. All right. Because later on, you're going to mourn. You're going to weep. You're going to perish. All right. You're going to sleep. All right. So now let's just read here. Uh, let's read here, Second Edges 9, 9 and 8. It says, 9 and 7, And every one that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So the ones that's going to be saved is, is the elect, and how they're going to escape these perilous times is by work, their works, all right? And by their faith, and by, they, and by, it says, and whereby, ye have believed so works faith and believing all right paul said faith without works is dead all right you can't have works without faith you can't have faith without doing works okay and you can't do none of those things without believing all right so it says verse 8 shall be preserved from the said perils notice the key word there uh preserved you know this is a good thing to be preserved from trouble you know don't everyone want to be preserved from trouble this is why esau is uh doomsday prepping you know doomsday bunking and he's stacking up on his guns and bullets you know you got jake you know uh out here just just living life man you know not even worried about trouble not realizing that trouble is going to step on their doorstep all right and drag them out of their houses so it says shall be preserved from their said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning so the Lord is clearly telling you that he has sanctified his elect from the very beginning so these ones that was handpicked handcrafted chosen by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to be sanctified from the very very beginning 
All right. This is why scripture is called the first fruits. All right. So it says shall be preserved from the said powers and see my salvation in my land. What is the Lord's land? Israel. And that's why that land is going to be destroyed. OK, just as well as Babylon the Great, which is ultimately going to be destroyed and desolate from off the planet Earth, made into a desert. And then what? The elect is going to be brought back into Israel to rebuild it. Which you heathens is going to rebuild our land. Because you heathens going in slavery. So it says, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So, you know, you can laugh now, cry later. Alright? Laugh now, die later. Because later, you're laughing now and not taking this this truth you know uh for uh for seriousness of your life you know right now is the time to seek mercy and that's why us brothers of the whole four elect you know the few women out there who believe you know right now is the time to seek mercy from your heart by shemel shot all right to be preserved from them said powers later all right from the lord's vengeance upon the wicked it says then shall they be in pitiful case. You're going to be in a pitiful case, man. Pitiful case. It says, which now have abused my ways. How did you abuse the Lord's ways? Because the Lord sent the prophets bedtime. He sent them out there week in and week out, in season, out of season. Not only that, but during the weeks, all right, with sit downs. Teaching you the, the, the ways of the Lord, but you abuse it. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments all right and them torments is man you can have a torment in the mind you're going to be tormented by the nuclear fire at the very end all right you're going to be tormented by a way of a famine you're not receiving your food and water dying of a grievous death diseased all right so those that have despitefully cast the lord's laws away his ways away shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah. So everything that, you know, a society today in which Esau projects and pushes out there for Jake to swallow up is all benefits, man. All right. It's enough to keep your flesh fed and your pleasures, you know, never living for your spirit, you know, never sacrificing, you know, the wit, you know, putting away the wickedness, but you indulge and exercise yourselves in these things. That's your benefits, man. You know, you got freedom to just do whatever the hell you want, man. All right? Women just out here being whores, man. You know, sluts. All right? Men out here just killing each other, gangbanging, smoking weed, all on drugs and shit. All right? It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Known who? Known Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So go ahead, you know. Make, make mockery of this truth all you want. It says, and they have... It says, and they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty and where yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Now, I did a, uh, I did a, uh, bear with me real quick. I did a, a quick Google search on uh, loft and it really goes back to lo loftsome, all right, loftsome, which just means um, causing hatred or disgust repulsive okay hateful detestable all right yeah so causing hatred or disgust so what do you do with the lord's ways the lord laws it says and they that have lofted my law disgusted you know hated while they had yet liberty you know you couldn't stop you know doing drugs you couldn't stop being an adulterer all right while they had yet liberty. This is your liberty. You're in liberty right now. Right? And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. And this is the time of repentance. And soon the repentance is going to close. It says, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. All right? So these people, these jakes, two-thirds, you're going to die of a grievous death, man. All right? Because you have lofted the Lord's law while you had liberty. And when place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but they despised it. So the same must know it after death by pain. So how are you going to know this truth? After you get destroyed. All right. 
So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.